Hello everyone, so we are going to continue our windows function topic and in this particular video we are going to learn about the lead and lag. So let's learn how actually we can use a lead and lag function in a SQL. So lead and lag are windows function that allow you to access data from next row or previous row. For taking example, suppose uh, this is the table I have. This is my one of the table. Here I have a transaction ID, sales person, transaction date and the amount. Now suppose your requirement is like first you will sort the data based on the transaction date. So once I will sort the data this will look like this. So I have a transaction ID and um, based on this particular date first of uh, January uh, total amount sales happen on the 500. On the second total amount ha sales happen on the 200. On third 300. On fifth 450. On the sixth 700. On eighth 300 this many uh, transaction happen. Now suppose your requirement is like what is the previous amount before to the 1st of January it's total amount of sales happened. So before because it's starting from 1st of January right so previous will be 0. Now what is the previous salary previous amount uh, before to the 2nd January. So before to 2nd January how much total amount sales happened this 500 right. So this is the 500. What is the total amount sales happened before the 3rd of January. So before 3rd of January we have a 2nd of January right. So the total amount is 200. So we will mention 200. What is the before 5th of January? 3rd of January 300. So whenever you have to find the previous salary. Whenever you have to find the uh, previous rows value. Whenever your requirement is like where you want to get the previous rows value. We use a, a lag. We use a lag. Whenever you have to calculate what is the previous value of this 500, what is the previous value of this 200, right? What is the previous value of this 200? So we have written 200. What is the previous value of 200? 500. So we have written 500. So whenever you will have a requirement like this, then we use a lag function. Now, what is lead? So whenever you have to calculate the next rows value, then we use a lead function. So what is the next value of this 500? The 500 next value is the 200, right? So here I will get the 200. What is the next value of this uh, 200? 300, right? So here I will get the 300. Here I will get the 300. So like this uh, lead and lag works uh, for 300 next value is 450. So it will give me the 450. So whenever you have a requirement where you want to find out the next rows value or the previous rows value we use a lead and lag function. Now let's see with the practical how actually we can use that. So I have this sales table. In this sales table I have a transaction date. So what actually I want. I want to first sort the data based on the transaction date based on the ascending to the descending. I want to find out the what is the previous amount and I want to find out the next uh, amount. So how actually I can write. So first let's see how actually we can use the lag. So first let's see about how to find out the previous amount value. So for that we will use a lag. So what I will write select star comma lag based on which particular com column you want to find out the previous value based on the amount. So I will mention the amount and after that I will use over and we want to order based on the transaction date order by transaction date. and from sales one from sales one so if i'll write this and if i'll execute this now you will see one column got added this is the new column if i'll give the name as a, a previous sell something now if i'll execute this you can see this is the new column we have created now what actually it is doing it is finding out the previous uh, amount so what is the previous amount of the 200 500 so I am getting result 500 what is the previous amount of this 300 200 so I am getting amount of 200 what is the previous amount of this 450 300 so I am getting the 300. Now like this actually we can calculate the previous amount now, now you can see uh, it is finding out the previous amount now suppose you have to find out the previous to the previous. Like what is the previous to previous amount of this 300 that is a 500 right. Now you want to step by 2 then what actually you can mention if you mention 2 here then what will happen you can see what is the previous to the previous of this 300 500 so I am getting the 500. 
what is this 450 what is the previous to previous that is a 200 so I am getting a 200 so step also we can mention you only want the previous row then you will use a 1 or you want a, if you will mention 2 then previous to the previous the two steps it will give you the result now you can see the first row let me mention one only now in the lag suppose this first value right the before this one uh, we don't have any value that's why it is coming null now suppose this you want to handle and you want to make it zero then you can mention zero then if you execute this now you can see because here uh, previous value is not there that's why it is coming as a zero so like that actually we can find out the previous value now if you have to find out the next value then what you will use we'll use a lead so what we'll use select star comma lead based on the amount we want to find out so i'll use amount here also the same concept one zero we'll use over order by transaction date descending or ascending based on your requirement we'll make it as a next salary from sales one sales one now if i'll execute this what it will give me it will give me the next salary this is the next salary right so what is the next salary of this 500 200 right so i am getting a 200 result what is the next salary of 200 300 right so i am getting a result of the 300 what is the next salary of 300 450 so i am getting a 450 whenever you have to find out the next salary you will go for the lead whenever you have to find out the previous uh, previous amount or previous row then you will go for the lag so that's how actually we use a lag and a lead and here if you will mention the two so it will it will be happen based on the two steps so you can see what is the next to next value 300 right so i am getting a 300 what is the next to next value 450 so i am getting a 450 means based on the two steps it is giving me the uh, result so that's how actually we can use a lead and lead and now suppose you have to use it together then how actually you will use so i will use a select star from previous salary comma A lead next salary from sales one so if I'll write this and if I'll execute this you can see we are getting amount previous salary and the next salary now let's understand where actually we use this lead and lag so you can see uh, we have calculated the previous salary we have calculated the next salary and we have also the current salary the current amount is given now what actually suppose your requirement is like based on the previous date you want to compare and you want to compare your total sales like how actually it was happening on the previous month or how actually it was happening on the previous day comparing to the previous day how many sales happened whether the sales is improving or not so in that kind of the scenario generally we use a lag and the lead whenever you have to compare with the previous date or the next date or so in that kind of scenario we use a lag and lead so i hope you got the idea